Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which I'm gonna teach you the other four chord song formula. Um, you all know the C, G, A minor, F chord formula. You have it in literally thousands of songs worldwide, but there's another four chord formula which comes from the Far East. You have the J-pop chord formula. Now, um, it's usually played in E flat, so you have okay? It's E flat, F, D, and G minor. Now, if you want a simplified guitar version, it's C, D, B, and E minor. Okay, now listen to it. Okay, and try to figure out what's special about it, okay? Why it works so well as a loop. In my opinion, it works a lot better than the C, G, A minor, F loop for a specific reason. Have a listen. Okay, or an E flat. makes this uh, this four chord progression so so addictive to the ear it's very simple um, you don't start from the root so if you're playing okay, C D B and E minor then this is an E minor and you're not playing it from the root you're playing it from the sixth you're playing it from C so you're actually starting from a tension you're starting from a tension, but you don't know it yet. And if you're playing C and D, then you think that you're in a mode of C. You think that you're in C, but you're not playing D minor, you're playing D. But that's not what's going on here. It's actually a lot simpler. You're playing C, D, but you're in the key of E minor. And that's why the B, the B major, that suddenly appears there is so surprising to the ear because the B major is the major chord, it's the fifth that leads you back to E minor. Okay, now B major can also lead to E major, but when you play E minor, suddenly you kind of take the sting out of the B major chord. Because if you were playing C, D, B, and E, it ends there. But by playing E minor, it keeps going. And now you're on the root chord. And you're ending on the root chord, but because your ear is so confused because it still thinks that it's in C, when you go back to C, you have the tension all over again. And this is why this chord progression is so, so darn effective. Listen again. You can also turn the B major to B7 and you'd still get pretty much the same result. Beautiful. It's it's uh, it's a it, it's a perfectly cr perfectly um, crafted four chord progression, and that's why it's a prominent chord progression in J-pop. And I wanted to show you this progression so you can use it in your own compositions and songwriting. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, go practice this. Have fun. Bye for now.